A simulation is a very important component of the capstone course. As you reach this level in your career, in your degree, you are going to find out that the capstone is a course that integrates all the different knowledge in the different courses that you took before. For this reason, the simulation is an instrument that is going to let you practice make mistakes in a fake company with your team members. You are going to share your frustrations, your joy, your issues, your challenges by making decisions in a company that is producing a product. Some of you will think that a simulation is not a very important learning component and you will find some comments about it. But a simulation is more than running a fake company. Even if you are not working in a business environment, you will learn many things. First, you have to follow instructions. The participant guide, the presentations, and the information provided by the company that supplied the simulation is very detailed, very good, and if you follow all the instructions, I'm sure that you will see that making decisions in the simulation is a piece of cake. Of course, you're gonna feel overwhelmed and your anxiety is gonna create a little bit of stress. You are new members, you don't know each other, you're working in a simulation that is online, you don't see the faces, you don't see figures, you only see a bunch of numbers and facts. Creating an X scenario is a good way of learning. And this is why in the previous capstone courses, we have had a lot of success with the capstone course. Of course, the one that don't like the simulation is gonna tell you that there are other ways. But in the simulation, you will see that you are going to create a team. You're gonna go to all the phases of creating a team, you're going to have a lot of storms in the team, then you have to decide how to improve profits in your company, you're going to decide about social responsibility, about hiring people, about marketing, about dealing with human resources issues, strategies, and you're going to find out that it's beyond the simulation company that you're going to learn. When you apply the same principles, the same concepts in your day-to-day -day job or when you apply to your next job or you try to do a business, you're going to find that you are going to deal with the same human resources issues. You're going to work and make a decision about budgeting, finances, account payables, account receivables. You're going to deal with operation decisions, how to manufacture a better product, how to negotiate with your vendors, how to work with your customers, customer service. You're going to see how you're going to use the technology, the information systems, the social media, the advertising that you're going to use, how your organization is going to help the society, the planet, the world. So you need to work on all these simulation thinking that you are going to have success. Again, you can make all the mistakes. This is why you see that we have weeks of practice. So you can test the waters. You can feel comfortable with the simulation. Then we're gonna have several weeks of rounds where you can compete with other companies. In the past, we have several teams that made the top 100 teams in the world and they receive a very nice certificate and I received an email telling me which members got that award. This is very important that you try to improve your rating every week so you can be in the top 10, in the top 100. Well, hopefully the top 10 too. Then we're gonna have a discussion board that very informal place when you can share your frustration, what the team members are not doing, why you are solving some issues sharing your mind with the rest of the class. At the same time, you will be able to read what the others are doing and get ideas 
or maybe you don't want to disclose everything because you are doing something that is keeping you in the high rating. This is part of the business intelligence or the competitive world. And then finally, you have to summarize your finding, the results, and tell the rest of the class what happened. Why your company went all the way down? Maybe there was a strategy that you play. You want to be more social and less profits. Or why you were in the top 10 of all the numbers. How do you manage your advertising budget? How do you solve your problems in specific markets? And again, you're going to find whatever is the result of the simulation, your learning experience, your learning adventure, is the one that you always will remember. Enjoy the simulation, work together, post your questions in the forum, and be sure that whatever is the result of your company at the end, your lessons, your experience is going to stay with you forever.